Hello once again audience, today we're going to show you how to record your DS from your game, from your cartridge save, without a DS capture card. Now, the things you're going, you, you see a 3DS, and this is important, what you're going to need for recording your DS footage from your cartridge, first you're going to need a 3DS of any kind. It doesn't matter what kind of 3DS, but you're going to need a 3DS. Next, you're going to need an SD card reader. You're going to need a PC. Most laptops have an SD card reader. Um, I have one of these little dongles. I don't forget where I put it. Uh, there it is. One of these little dongles to read SD cards. And uh, finally, you're going to need Desmume, the DS emu best DS emulator, probably. Because you're going to be playing on an emulator. So if you want to be playing with the original hardware, click off the video. And, you know, you're out of luck because Loopy is out of DS capture cards. And, you know, with the pandemic going around, you're not going to be getting them soon. So, you know, this is kind of the only option if you want real clean DS footage. You know, sorry, that's the way it is. But, so, I have Pokemon Platinum, not in the 3DS, but I have it in my DS Lite, and I'm going to show you what the save looks like. So, let me get Platinum loaded up. Bum, bum. Alright, so there you see... Zoom in real close. Come on. 129, 129 hours, 8 badges, Pokedex 377. See, right there. So, we're going to shut this off and put it in the 3DS. First step you're going to want to take. Get, get Homebrew or download custom firmware on your 3DS. Homebrew is real easy to get. Don't get scared or anything. Just I'll leave a link in the description for a homebrew tutorial. Homebrew is very easy to get. So put your put your DS game in your 3DS and then launch homebrew. We're gonna launch homebrew real quick. Next thing you're going to want to do is download TWL Save Tool. I will put a link in the description for downloading TWL Save Tool. And open it up. And you're going to see a bunch of lines, but you can see the first line, it says Pokemon PL, which means Pokemon Platinum. Then it's going to give you a game code. Or like, I don't know, if you've ever used an action replay, the game code comes first. And it's going to give you a save file size. This is really important. Write this down. 512 kilo kilobytes. Write that down. So, now what you want to do is see how it says B, backup save file. So you're going to want to press B so you back up the save file. Backing up the save file. And then, bam, done. So now... Shut your 3DS off, and I'm going to open FPDT so that we can start transferring files. If you don't want to use FT, FPDT, FPTD, forget what this crap is called, just, um, you know, you're going to have to take out your SD card a lot. Um, but, hey, I mean, it's, it's what it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So just take out your SD card, put it in your PC. Because you probably need this if you're going to be, you know, if you're first downloading Homebrew. And you, you know, you, whatever. Anyways. So I'm going to head over to the PC. Ah, oh, crap. What is my display capturing? Okay, good. So we're in FileZilla right now. So this is where, um... This is where my uh, 3DS is going to show up. Once I 
freaking All right, there we go. And let's type in. Now this is a local IP. You're not going to DDoS me. This is just a local IP that the 3DS creates, so I don't care if you see it. And come on. Um, let's go connect to the Wi Fi. Did I type it in wrong? No, there we go. Okay. We're connected to the 3DS. So now, go into your TWL save tool, and you'll see right here. Pokemon PL.0.save. dot zero dot save. So now go into your emulator. I'm gonna open up emulator real quick and get yourself a ROM of whatever game that you wanted. See, I have. Hold on. Come on, there we go. I have Pokemon Platinum. And if I press start, you see it's going to. Start a new game. So, um, all right, that's fine. Go into your, this, here, oh, let me get rid of this. Go into your Desmume folder, open up your ROMs, find where your Pokemon Platinum, Pal Platinum ROM is, sorry, I did that wrong. Then go down here, back to where your, um, you created this, you backed up the save, copy this, All right, we're back. After a freaking long time, we have figured out what we're doing. So you go into TWL Save Tool, download this to wherever you want to on your computer, or if you're just transferring from your SD card, you just drag and drop. So go to wherever that file is. For me, it's in my big hard drive. Come on, where is it? In the P's. L M N O P. There we go. Copy this. Then go over to Desmume. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Over to ROMs. Here. Paste. Bang. There's your save. Now. Click on your. ROM, hit rename, then copy this name, then click on your save that you have just created, rename, and then paste. Now, and these two are the same, one's a dat .save file, one's a .nds file. You can close this out, and let's go back into Desmume, open it up, there we go, and now, go to File, Import backup memory. You're not seeing this right now. But go to file, import backup memory. Then over here, I'm going to give you the window. Now it's import backup memory. Choose the save you just made. So Pokemon Platinum, choose that save. Hit open. Then it's going to give you with this little pop up window. Just hit OK. And then in Desmume, you will see. And it should. There we go. 129 hours, 8 badges, Pokedex 377. So that is how you transfer the save on from your cartridge to your 3DS. So now. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm on Route 209, so this music is very loud. Better. So now I'm going to go to... Move, please. I'm going to go to Hearthome. Hearth... Hearthome, right? 
Heart home. Heart home. Jeez. Heart home. And we're gonna save. Oops. Wrong button. So save. Uh, S. X. Because now, you have played your game, you have recorded it, but... Now you want this game on your cartridge. How do I put this save on my cartridge? That's what I'm going to get to. So, save your game, then go File, Export Backup Memory. It's right under Import Backup Memory. Export Backup Memory. And then, it's going to give you a little window. So I'm going to get rid of the capture because we don't need it anymore. It's going to give you a little window, and then hit, just name it uh, Platinum dot save or sorry just name it platinum and it'll add the dot save and then save it in your ROMs all right get out of here I don't think we need you anymore and then go to open up the internet and hold on for a second okay We're here at a, at a convert a save game. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. So now, choose the file and choose platinum.save, the one you just made, or whatever game it is. And then, it should be raw format.save should be the first line. Second line, you're going to want to make it the size that you wrote down in TWL save tool. So for me, it was 512, and then convert that. And then you should get a little download thingy pop up. Come on. There we go. Platinum.save. Shown folder. Move this to the desktop. Then go back into your FileZilla window or, or your SD card. <clears throat> Move this into... Under platinum dot, should be platinum dot save. Then you're gonna want to rename this. Then copy. This is the save you originally made. This is your original save. Then go to platinum dot save, the one you made. Rename this and paste. But go to where it says zero. Where it says Pokemon PL dot zero. Change this to one. And then. You're good. PL, Pokemon PL dot one dot save. Now you're all good. You can just exit out of this. And we can go back to our 3DS. Where Pokemon Platinum is. We can exit out of um start start. B B to exit. Exit out of um, T TWL save tool, then go into, where's my stylus? Whatever. Go into TWL save tool. Wherever the freak my stylus went. Annoying. Is it in here? Oh, it is. Okay. Now, where it says, oh, geez. Where it says left right change file name and you see it says pokemon pl.0.save dot dot go to the right one and now it says pl.1.save that's the file you just made now where it says a restore save file press a and you you see it's going to write the save file so it's writing the save file in okay we're back so now it is done writing the save file so now, for some reason, my TWL uh, custom firmware just does not exit, so I'm going to shut down my 3DS. Give me a second. Takes a while for this thing to shut down. It's an old 3DS. Okay. Now... Once we turn this back on. Uh, 
and we go over Pokemon Platinum, and we launch Pokemon Platinum. You can see, look, 129 hours, one minute, and if we go into the game, okay, thank you, we're in Heart Home City. So that's, that's all she wrote. That's how you transfer files, that's how you write the save. Again, no cheating device or anything, I li but you need, you need that custom firmware or homebrew for TWL save tool and, um... FTP if you want to use FTP, if you don't want to take the SD card out every single time. Um, I prefer FTP. Um, I would definitely recommend using Homebrew over Custom Firmware, because for Custom Firmware, you need an R4 as well. And I do not have an R4, so I just use Homebrew. So, yeah. That's how you... So again, playing the game, like on a live stream or making a video, you are going to have to use the emulator. But... Once you're done with the stream, and you, you know, you've gotten the shiny on stream, you can move that save file back over to your cartridge, and boom, you've got the shiny on your cartridge. So, that's how you record clean DS footage without a DS capture card. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, follow my Twitch in the description where I live stream. Mm, sometimes, I need to get back into it. Other social media links in the description. All links that uh, you need for doing this process will be in the description. If I'm leaving one out or one doesn't work, please leave it in the comments or message me on one of my social medias. Thank you. Love you guys. Peace.